All right. So let's go and do the hole today. Go to the hole right here. The hole wizard. So whenever you're doing a hole, you want to use the hole wizard, not draw a circle and extrude the circle. Because the circle that's extruded is kind of dumb. Like, not dumb as in dumb to do, but dumb as in it's not smart. Because it's just whatever that diameter is going all the way through, right? With the hole though, now we can tell it is it countersunk or counterboard, countersunk, is it through hole, is it tapped, is it taper tapped, or do you want a fully custom hole? So we're probably not gonna do that. We're gonna pick one of these ones here. <clears throat> so even on standard screw, I can tell it what standard I'm using. So I'm gonna do it in inches, I'll do it in inches. Then what type of hole? Am I doing a drilled hole? Or do I want to do a clearance hole for a screw? So if I pick that and then go down here to my size and pick a quarter inch screw, and it's normal, it's 0.26 cents. If I tell it close, 0.257. Loose 0.281. So that's the standard uh, clearance fits or clearance holes for a quarter inch screw. <clears throat> and so if you're doing that, you don't have to try and look on the chart and see what it is, unless you know that this is what I want. So you can just do there. And if you do know what you want, you can just override it. And just fill it in and tell it, I want it this size. Tell it how you want it to end. You want it to be a blind hole, so you don't want it to go all the way through. Or do you want it to go through all to the next surface, up to a specific surface, or offset from the surface? So if you want it to stop a quarter inch before that surface, no matter where that surface is, you can say offset from surface, pick on that surface until it's 25. So now it'll stop a quarter inch before it hits that surface. But I don't have any holes yet, right? I don't have anything on here. So I'm gonna go to position here. So that was the type. Now I'm gonna go to positions. So I'm gonna just pick on this face where I want those holes to be. So I a hole there and a hole there. And now I can go in, maybe I want those to be lined up, so I'll add a line between them. I want that line to be horizontal. Yeah, I should have gone with one of those bold. Um, and then I can dimension it. the position for those. Then I can go back and go back to type if I want to change any more. I can look at it. See that it's stopping a quarter inch up. If I go back to type, I can tell it oh. <clears throat> it's not tapering the bottom. Why does it taper in the bottom? Why does it put the, the drill point on it? should probably go all the way through. But if I turn that back to a drill size, I think 
It just wasn't showing on the preview. But I have the, the drill point. So now those are actually smart holes. And then I find a later that, no, I want those tapped. I can just click on it, go back to edit feature, tell it I want a tapped hole. So I want it bottom tapped or just regular tapped. And again, now I can tell it the depth of the hole and the depth of the thread. Put that in. And I can't really see anything here. I don't see any thread representation, but when I put onto the drawing, It'll bring in the thread note, and it'll bring in the hidden lines and everything like it needs to. Okay? So go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put in some holes. Try the countersinks. Try putting in some counterboard holes. Um,